Yo everybody, this is Leonardo back at you again. Uh, of course you guys know by now, I make guitars, I fix guitars. I'm guitar, 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 right? I'm guitarded. And today we're going to show you, the main point of this video actually is to review these pickups that we put in this old Washburn X series Strat, which is a buddy of mine's first guitar. And um, the pickups were made by a company called Manlius, and they're out of New York. Uh, I want to say Syracuse, or I may be wrong about that. Is that right? That is right. Okay. I'm glad that that's right. Because it's an important difference. Now, what the guy does is he, he basically offers you a lot of options about what you want and about um, how it should work best in the guitar. I mean, windings, reverse windings, color combinations, reverse uh, magnet orientations, all that kind of stuff. So what we have in the guitar right here is a fat 54 set in the neck and the middle and a fat Diane, which is a pretty cool name for a pickup, and that's back in the bridge. Of course, what was in here before were just the stock pickups that come in every guitar that you buy uh, at Hermes Music or somewhere like that, either in the, the Valley or in San Antonio. And, you know, 15 years later, you still have your first guitar and you needed to get hot rod. You needed to get going for you, right? So you pick up these pickups from Manlius. And I got the little sheet right here. And he's so cool that he actually tells you everything about each pickup. Uh, what the wires are made from, what the magnets are, uh, how you should wire them together. So he takes a lot of care for you, right? Um, I've been, as you guys know, out to Musicians Institute in Hollywood. I've been, I've worked at True Tone. I've worked at the library at the, the school, Musicians Institute. So I've seen a lot of guitars kind of come and go. And this guy makes really, really good pickups. When you examine them physically, they're obviously well-made, they're robust, they're wax-potted. Uh, which is important to prevent, you know, feedback and stuff like that. Uh, the wires are great. The tinning is awesome. And obviously, after we put them in, we were really, really happy with the sound. And uh, something really unique about these pickups is that they are made with Alnico 3 for the single coils and Alnico 4 for the bridge pickup. And doing all your research, you've probably seen Alnico 2 and Alnico 5. And I think Seymour Duncan makes one called the Alternative 8 which is made of Alnico 8. And really all it is, this is a rating for the, it sort of measures the type of magnet that you have in there. And we could go on and on and on. People take classes about how to determine what type of magnet to put into a pickup. So there's a lot of magic there, right? And Manly has decided to put an Alnico 3 in the neck and bridge, and he reverse wound, reverse polarity, the middle pickup, so that it uh, is hum canceling with your neck or your, your bridge. And he put an Alnico 4 in the uh, in the bridge humbucker, so it's somewhere between those two vintage designs that you've uh, kind of always seen. I think what that does is it gives it its own unique kind of character and approach and and sound. Uh, really, the whole reason to why we're doing the review on this guitar is super cool. I am gonna play, believe me. But this is AJ's first guitar. What's up? So how cool is it that 15 years later? You still have your first guitar, man, and you even know what sticker you put on it first, this little cool black bird sticker back here, man. And you probably remember each and every sticker that you put on this thing, and um, whoop, just shock myself. Each and every sticker you put on this thing, and the reasons why, where you got it from, the whole guitar is a reminder of why you play guitar in the first place. I mean, you went through the trouble of changing the tuning pegs, changing the pickups, personalizing it, customizing it. If you still have your first guitar, keep it keep it don't stop playing don't stop trying don't stop changing it man get something to work with you to where you try different strings try different tuning pegs try different pickups make friends with people like me people who are trying to be into the guitar business people who are old professionals give it a shot hang on to it man and it's really going to bring you a lot a lot of enjoyment and i think that's kind of the spirit of why we put these pickups in here because I mean, it's a, it's a cheaper guitar you can buy in a kit with a little amp, you know, like a Christmas present type thing. But you know what, man? You put time and effort into it, and it means something, and it means a lot. And it means enough to put new pickups into it and see how good it can be. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through some sounds. I'm basically going to play more or less the same riff so you hear the actual tonality of the pickups. And um, I'm going to start with the bridge. Then it's got a five-way switch towards the bridge and the middle, then just the middle then the neck and middle, and then just the neck. And uh, then we'll do the same thing on the distortion channel, right? And I think, and I hope what you're gonna hear 
is a, it's a large, large sound with some sensitivity, a nice mid-range presence, and no harshness, and just enough of the bass floor to leave the bass player room to do his thing, and still a lot of power for you to cut through when you're playing. Pickups are pretty manly, man. 
Uh, they sound pretty gnarly, got a nice touch to them, good articulation. I fully recommend them. If you are out looking for a reasonably priced, excellently made pickup that's going to help you sound better, help you play better, and just flat out freaking make you happier playing guitar. Put them in your first guitar, put them in your second guitar, put them in your next guitar. I dig these pickups. We'll see you next time.